Hi, it's Chris from Leicester Drones, just doing a short video on flying your drone inside. So, we've got a nice sports hall, nice safe environment. If you haven't flown your drone inside, it's probably something you want to do, and if you're a professional operator at some stage, you may have to do it. So we're just going to give you a few basic tips for flying inside. So, a few things to remember then. First of all, you're not going to have satellites. Okay, highly unlikely you're going to have satellites. So you're going to have to fly, yes in P mode, and we'll come on to that in a bit more in a minute, but more than likely you're going to be flying in ATI mode. So you need to remember you've got to be controlling the drone all the time. When you fly forward, normally when you're outside, the drone will just stop with, with P mode. When you're in ATI mode, it'll carry on flying. So you've got to be very, very careful because obviously you've got four walls around you, whatever else, you're close to a lot of obstructions. So one of the first things we're going to do is change the setting on the remote controller. So I've got a, a Phantom 4 here. Normally, if you lose signal, your drone will return to home. We need to change that, so if you lose your remote controller signal because you've got, you might be in a factory where there's machines working, or an office where there's lots of um, wireless and everything going on, if you lose control signal, you don't want it to return to home, okay? You need to set it to hover or landing. And then if that does happen, a big machine starts up in a factory nearby or something, you lose signal, your drone is just gonna hover there, okay? And then, yes, you can be in P mode, but it also you can fly in ATI mode. Other things to remember are, Flying indoors, there's all sorts of um, obstructions. So for example, here we've got the basketball net sticking out and things like that. So have a really good look around where you're gonna be in operating. You also gotta think about going, when you go higher up, you might dislodge dust, debris. If you're in like a factory environment, there might be an old cardboard box or something. You blow it off with your props. Next thing, it hits your drone, all sorts of problems. Okay, so be aware of that as well. So I'm just gonna take off now carried out my usual checks, there's nobody around. I'm in ATI mode, and I'm gonna do a manual takeoff with a Phantom 4. There you go, you can see it's drifting. There's nothing's perfectly balanced, the drone will drift around the place, so you've gotta be on the board with it. Just bring it back there now. Hello there from Leicester Drones. I'm going to take the Phantom 3 off in position mode. I'm going to take it up to the ceiling, keep an eye out for any loose ob objects. There's a ball up there. Hopefully I won't dislodge that. Here we go. Dell again from Leicester Drones, I'm quite close to the ceiling and I've lost all vision position system so I'm having to correct all the time while I'm up there, it's almost like it's in ATI mode. Okay, and when I was flying close to the ceiling there, I was constantly giving it down because the quad wanted to go up all the time. 
Also as well, because I was out of vision position system, I was correcting constantly with the controller there. Hi, Dave from Leicester Drones. Uh, what we're going to do is show how the, visioning, the forward visioning positioning system will actually help with your Inspire to stop you going into a wall. Um, so we're going to take off, fly forwards towards the wall and we'll show how the visioning positioning system actually puts the brakes on the aircraft and stops it flying forwards. This is in ATI mode and it also works in P mode as well, but we'll fly in ATI. Okay, taking off props. And there we go, the legs are coming back up and we'll slowly move forwards. As you can see, the aircraft's showing 16 feet, 11 feet, 9 feet, and you see the braking now. And with the stick all the way forwards, the aircraft's not going to move. And that's the visioning positioning system actually stopping the aircraft from going into an object and damaging itself. I'm going to demonstrate now the difference between having the VPS, the Vision Positioning System, on and off. So I've got a Phantom 4, I'm going to take off in P mode with the VPS on and then I'm going to turn it off and you'll see the, the difference, how the drone starts to drift. Because nothing is perfectly balanced. Okay, so I'm going to take off now in with the VPS on. I'll take it off. meters in a few seconds as soon as I turned off the video positioning system okay it will only work to a certain height all you, your drones are different so make sure you know how high up you can go and your VPS will still work Hi, this is Dave Green uh, from Vulcan Views uh, and working with Chris at uh, Leicester Drones. So I've got uh, in the hall here my Mavic today, Mavic Pro, and you can't switch that into ATI mode. So even inside a sports hall, you've got here, we've got eight 
satellites at the moment and we've got ready to go GPS. Now what you've got to be very careful of, there we go, it goes up to 11 satellites there, but it's fluctuating so you've really got to be careful because it can switch into vision mode while you're flying. Now I'm going to take off and if it keeps that GPS signal you'll see how steady it is but you've got to be really careful all the time that that doesn't switch into vision mode because it will do that automatically. Drifting back, drifting, so watch out, at the moment I'm doing no controls, it, you saw it kick when it picked up the signal to hold it solid, but it was drifting around there, so you've just really got to be careful if you're indoors um, to keep an eye on the aircraft at all times. I just. You have a look, see when it's changing. Yep, so the satellites can fluctuate. We've got 10 there. And sometimes it varies. It's been up to 12. It drops down to 3 sometimes. So you've got to be really careful. While it's got a GPS signal, it'll hold it solid. But while you're flying, you might lose your satellites uh, and lose the GPS connection. And then you'll be flying in vision mode. And it might drift. So at the moment there are 13 satellites, if we take a look actually at the Mavic it's holding absolutely solid, I'm doing nothing with the sticks. One last thing I wanted to say is you can use your drone as a stabilised camera, take off the props, great use for the drone there. Um, that's our video then on flying indoors, it's all about safety, it's all about preparation. Thanks very much for David from Images by David and David from Talking Views, thanks very much.